Sup nerds, today we have Diabormon versus Alphamon. Caleb won the Darwell, so he's going first. He hatches Dorymon, Evo's into Ryudamon, then plays Coda, gets his Scourge on. Very good memory setter. I hatch my Sumamon, Evo into Karamon. Evo into Kurisarimon for two. Play Training, get my Scourge on. I reveal three cards by accident. I'm going to realize here in a second that I should not have revealed that card, lol. And then I play Karamon for three, search top five. Get the Arata Sonata, thankfully. And then the Warp Infirm on the best level five we currently have. Caleb stays in raising, Evos, and then plays Cool Boy to choke me to two. Yeah, it's the Dexter Greymon to hand. So I swing security. Hope it dies, it does. There's the one of uh, Dory Greymon. Then I just play Arata and uh, Caleb goes to three from his memory setter. Alright, so he promotes. Here it comes. Evos into. Dexter Rugamon for zero, trashes a card, gains a memory, taps Cool Boy, gains another memory, draws a card, and he has Blocker and Retail until the end of my turn. I'm having flashbacks to BT9 format before uh, Alphamon got the ban hammer. So he plays Dormon, get some more Scourches, adds the Alphamon. Evo's into Darugamon for two. Evo's into Dexteruga again for zero. Trashes a card, gains a memory, blocker, and retail until the end of my turn. And then Congo's me to choke me to one. Very rude. Alright, so I go to two from Arata. The beginning of my turn. Shout out to Arata. I promote. Pop the training. Evo into Infirmon for one. I Evo into Ace Dia for three. Trigger Arata and Dia's effect to play a token apiece. And I'm triggering Dia's effect to delete something. I can target a nine play cost or lower, so I pop the biggest stack. And then Caleb goes to three from his memory setter. Hatches Dorymon. Evo's into Dexter Gray for four. Trashes a card to gain a memory. Then Evo's into Alpha for three. Triggers Alpha's effect to tuck an X antibody. And his sources to de Evo one of my dudes. Sadly, I do have to Ace Overflow, so he gains four memory and keeps turn. And then he gains memory off of his Inheritable as well. Evo's in Raising. Thankfully, I have another Ace D in my hand, so I can still do a little bit of something. Uh, so Evo's into Alphamon or Yukin, pops both of my tokens since they're 14 play costs. Triggers Alphamon's end of turn effect to bot deck X Antibody cards to gain memory. Gains 5 memory, seems good. Swing security 16k, 1 check. Survives, unsuspends. Swings again. Survives. And then plays a Coda to go to zero. The search power this deck has is just so insane. The cool boys, the Codas, the rookies. Plays Ryuta for three. More searches. Adds the Dormon to hand. And then I go to four from Arata. And I hatch. You go into Karamon. Evo into Ace Dia for three, trigger Dia effect and Arata, play two tokens. I'm thinking if I can uh, delete his, or you can if I de-evo at first, with the uh, Catastrophe in my hand. I swing security, trigger Dia to play a card, trigger Sumamon to draw, survive the check, which I needed to happen. I Catastrophe Cannon, de-evo the Alpha, play another token, and then trigger Dia... And now I can pop the Mega. Let's go. And now I'm set up to just kill him on my turn. 
So he stays in raising, swings at security. And he hard plays BT13 Alpha Mon to try to keep from dying on my turn. Tuxasaurus, now my 10 cost or higher, can't attack. I go to 10 from a rod at the beginning of my turn. I promote. I can still swing with my Ace Dia, though. Shout out to Ace Cards. Evo into Curry Saruman for 2. Evo into Infirmon for 3. Evo into Dia for 3. Trigger Arata. Play a token. I gain a memory. I attempt to delete the Alphamon uh, with Dia's effect. He bought Dexasaurus to protect it. I swing security. Draw from Sumamon. Trigger Dia. Play another token. Gain another memory. So he's one check for 18,000 DP. Let's go. Beats over the 16,000 DP or you can. I play training. Add the Curry Saruman. And then I just play Arata and then Caleb goes to three. So Caleb promotes. My tokens are all 5,000 DP as well. Evo's into Dexter Ruga for three. Triggers his effect, trashes a card, gains a memory. Does not get blocker and retail though. Attempts to swing at my Ace Dia. And I block with one of my tokens. Then plays a Dormon to pass turn. Then I go to four from double errata. I hatch. Evo into Karamon. I swing over Alphamon for, I believe, 17k. Draw off Suma. Swing with Ace. Trigger Ace effect. Play a token. Blow up the other guy. One check for a billion. Swing with token. They all have rush. And we take game one. Let's go. By the way, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And if you're interested in seeing my Diabormon deck profile, the link will be in the pinned comment below. All right, and Caleb chooses to go first for game two. Makes sense. Hatches. Evo's into Dormon. Plays Coda. This looks familiar. Adds Dexter Grandmon to hand. Hatch my Sumamon. Evo into Karamon. Play Training. Add the Search Karamon. That's one of the best cards in the deck. Evo into Kori Saruman for two. And then Evo into Infirmon for three. And Caleb just plays double UG to set me to three. So I play Karamon. Get some Scourges. Add the Ace Dia. All day. Then play another training. And add the Curry Saruman to hand, and then Caleb goes to three. Alright, so Caleb promotes, gains two memory, and draws two cards from his Yuji's. Seems good. He goes into Darugamon. He goes into Dex Daruga for zero, triggers his effect, discards a card, gains a memory. Now he has Blocker and Retail until the end of my turn. He goes into Dexteruga for four, triggers his effect, discards a card, and gains memory. Can't delete anything though. He goes into Oryumon for four, triggers his effect, tucks a Dormon, pops my Karamon, and then he gains two memory and draws a card. I promote, pop the training, Evo into Ace Dia for one, play a token, and I should be drawing a card off this, which I believe I realize in just a moment, because of my Karamon Inheritable. I play Catastrophe Cannon, play another token, and I can't delete him because of the uh, Oryumon effect, sadly. Hindsight, I don't think I should have Catastrophe Cannoned. 
because uh, that just gives an opportunity to Evo into an Alpha Mon. See, so Evo's into a Dex Darugamon. That's where I caught the, uh, where I had to draw two cards. Evo's into Dex again, discards a card, gains a memory. Evo's into Alpha Mon. Tuxoriumon gets a D Evo My Idea, gains four memory. And then he's going to gain two more memory and draw a card off of his inheritables. Seems good. Yeah, see, he wouldn't have had that opportunity if I didn't catastrophe cannon him. I should have just waited a turn. I think I got a little antsy. Like, I should have just stayed in raising and just, like, played a rookie or something. Waited for him to maybe Evo into uh, Oryukin mode on top of his Oryumon. So he swings security, triggers Yuji to tuck the one of Dory Gramon from BT7. Sees so two checks. He unsuspends from Oryumon. Swings again, triggers Yuji, tucks another one. Two more checks, survives both. This is why I should not have Catastrophe Cannoned, getting punished. Plays Dorymon for three. Adds Alpha. And then no end of turn effect on the Dory Graymon. So I hatch my Sumamon. Evo into Karamon. Pop the training. Evo into Dia for one memory. Now in his turn I can at least block with my tokens. Then I play Arata and he goes to three. All right, so Caleb promotes, gains to memory, draws two cards. Yeah, I 100% got uber punished for promoting a turn early and de-evoing his Oryumon. So Caleb confirms, uh, my Dia is 11 and my tokens are 5k apiece. He attempts to swing with Dorymon, which I just block with a token. No reason not to. Alright, he swings security with Alpha Mon, triggers Yuji, Tuxasaurus, gains two memory and draws a card. Uh, 12k for two checks. Checks Catastrophe Cannon. At this point, I should have de the Alpha Mon. I wasn't thinking, because um, the Oryumon requires it to be Alpha Mon in order to unsuspend. So that's another misplay there. Um, if I de Evo him, he doesn't get to unsuspend from Oryumon's effect. But I was uh, thinking he unsuspended anyway, and then he'd just be able to go into Oryukin mode. So he plays Cool Boy, searches some more. Evo's into Dexteruga for three, triggers his effect, trashes a card, gains a memory. And Evo's into Oryukin mode for 3 memory, deletes all my tokens. And then attempts to swing again, I have to block, and then swings for game. So Caleb does take game 2 on the back of multiple misplays by me. Feels bad, right? And I choose to go second for game 3, I need to see an extra card. Caleb patches Dorymon, Evo's into Ryudamon. And then Evo's into Darugamon. I hatch my Sumamon. Evo into Karamon. And then hard play Karamon, search top five. Add the ace. Always gonna grab the ace. And show Caleb to one. Caleb plays Cool Boy, chokes me to one. Adds Oryumon. I uh, swing security with Karamon. He does die, let's go. That turns on my Arata Sonata once I play it out. Then I Evo into Curry Saruman for two, check Caleb back to one. Alright, so Caleb promotes Darugamon. Evo's into Dex Darugamon for zero, triggers his effect, discards a card, gains a memory, taps Cool Boy, draws another card, gains a memory. Evo's into Doru Greymon for three. Tuxasaurus can't be deeply reduced or deleted by card effects until the end of my turn. That card's insane. Plays Cool Boy, searches some more. And 
and I just play Arata to choke him to one. At this point, I just need a level five. So Caleb patches Dorymon. Evo's into Dorymon. Evo's into Dexter Gray for one. Triggers his effect, discards a card, gains a memory, taps double cool boy, gains two memory, draws two cards. Evo's into Alpha. Triggers Alpha's effect to tuck a source from trash. Gets to gain a memory and draw a card. 12k, two checks at security, survives both of them, unsuspends, swings again, checks a defense training, that might help. At this point I need a level 5 or I'm just going to lose. If I don't see level 5, like 4 turn, essentially. Depending on how much memory he gives me. Alright, then he evos into Darugamon for 2 to choke me to 1 and then Arata puts me to 2. And I did not rip a level 5 for turn. Sag. I play defense training. Stone at level 5, doesn't matter what I grab. Super sad. And then I scoop, because he just has game. And so GG's to Caleb. Um, he does take it 2-1. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of content. Want to come back for more. But until next time, see ya.